Hey everyone, this is Tisk Chunky, and today I'm reviewing just the holy grail of uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre uh, editions. Um, this is the premium uh, collection, uh, and it's the Japanese box set. I just want to mention that I have kept the plastic wrapping on, just opened it at the side here. So the printing on this is actually matte. As you can see here, just put it away a little bit. Just so you don't think it's glossy, but yeah. First of all, uh, front cover, really nicely done. Um, I don't know, feels a bit, you know, very in style of the movie, sort of grainy. Um, and just incredibly impressive. And it, it's heavy as hell, uh, actually. Uh, here's the back cover. Uh, it's all, all matte printing and all flat, no embossing. No real artwork there. And the top cover is pretty much the same. You know, there are some slight color shifts, so you know, there's like a background pattern. Sort of like this style, except only darker. But yeah, and this is the spine, by the way. Just so we're trying to show it in the light here, but it's kind of hard. Gonna slide all this stuff out. Okay, so now it's upside down. Sorry about that. We got an absolutely incredible uh, Diggy Stack box set. Uh, before I go any further, I just want to go back to the slipcase box. This is incredibly sturdy. Once again, you see, it's it's. I mean, you can bend it together, but it's. It, you can't really damage it unless you really like go to town on it with like a like a chains or something. Just love the box, it love the quality. It's just the kind of quality you wish you got for every edition, but you very rarely get. Um, so yeah, I love the artwork. It's very sort of coherent, uh, sort of yellowish, grainy. Uh, just really good looking. And I mean, oh, you look at this. Just look at how it, it's so. Everything just goes together, and it feels really, you know, coherent and and worked. Uh, they they really worked with the with the graphics on it. You know, it's simple, but it's it's perfectly fitting with the style of the movie, I think. And yeah, I just just love it. And also notice the fact that they did print the title uh, the correct way, so it's chain, and then there's a space between chain and saw, so that's. That's really important for me. Um, I mean, there's a lot of editions who just print the title as Chainsaw, as one word. But as you know, if you're a fan of the film, the original title on screen is actually Chain, and then there's a space between Chain and Saw. So, really nice that they did that, even though it's a very small space, but still. Um, ah, whatever. I'm not going to talk about that all night. So, let's open this up. And also, this is just as thick and sturdy as the, the box. I mean, almost. As you can see, it's not just not not just simple cardboard. It really is really is thick and sturdy. So I love that. And even the spine, the the entire thing, you can see that it has like it actually has you know gets like a crease between this part and this part. So it's actually two pieces of cardboard, and they're sort of connected with paper. So you know this is just this is the greatest quality you'll ever see uh, in a digi stack or digi pack box set. It has this really, really thick, sort of like, it's almost, almost like a book, uh, like a book cover. It's just done in the typical book, book type way. So yeah, incredibly good quality. And now, um, we got the digi stack, and I'm going to open this. And I can't. You can't open it. And why is that? Well, um, one of the oddest things I noticed about this is that it has the uh, the diggy stack tape or like the hinges tape if you want to call it that is actually on the right side and I've never seen that before in diggy stack in all my life but that means that it actually opens this way so you know commonly it would open like that I mean pretty much all the diggy stacks I've seen open from the right sort of like open to the left like a book but this one is just the opposite. I have no idea why. Um, you know, maybe just a, a, a design idea. Um, but I mean, I, I don't mind. It is. It sort of brings the whole thing together to a very compact 
compact thing, I guess, but yeah, I don't know. Don't really mind it, just thought it was an odd detail. Now, I'm gonna look at some of the discs. First up, I'm just gonna hold these up, I'm not gonna take them out. If you wanna if you wanna know the exact specifications for this, go to discjunkie.sc. We'll provide a link in the sidebar and there you can get the complete specs with subtitles and all that. So, you know, because I can't remember it all, so just check that if you want to see it. Uh, here's some more of the artwork, by the way. We just printed in English, which is quite rare for a Japanese edition. And, once again, very grainy, good-looking reddish, red-yellowish print. So really love that. But moving on. First we got the uh, first disc, which is just the movie. Second disc, which is a bonus disc. Um, it has special features, as I remember, sort of the same special features as most other editions have. Um, then we get a third disc, which is labeled Bonus Disc 2. Uh, and this is, trying to remember, this didn't have a lot of special features, and uh, it had a couple of Japanese exclusive ones with just, you know, like four Japanese guys sitting around talking in Japanese without subtitles. I'm not really sure what they're saying, but I think they are part of the uh, people, I'm guessing, they could be part of the people who did the Japanese dub for the movie, because, you know, in Japanese, in Japan, they do uh, do Japanese audio tracks and dub them a lot of movies. Um, and this disc also has the Japanese dubbed TV version of the film, which is, you know, uh, just full frame and, you know, the entire film, but dubbed with the Japanese Japanese audio track. So, I don't really care about that, but just, you know, it's an extra disc, I don't really mind it. Next up, we got the fourth disc, which is a family portrait, uh, the very famous documentary, uh, which has been released in most countries, I think, um, but, you know, really nice to have it included here. And last but not least, disc five, which is the Shocking Truth documentary, also a very well-known uh, piece of documentary for this film. But, uh, yeah, before I go, I just want to show you the back cover there, behind the diggy tray. Lovely. So fucking good. Love it. But, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. And, no, in fact, it's not pretty much it. I thought it was done, but I realized I haven't even show you, showed you all this stuff. Here's some other stuff that you get in the set. I'm going to try to hurry this along because I realized I took too much time talking about the Digi Pack or Digi Stack, whatever. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, collector's booklet, really nicely done. And, you know, printed in Japanese, got some pictures, black and white stuff, yeah. And by the way, this I just put this in here to keep from damaging it. Uh, it's a paper wraparound that would go around the outside of the outer box, uh, pretty common on Japanese editions. But I just want to keep it inside to prevent it from getting damaged. Next up, we got this, which is just like a promotional flyer, I think. And then we got a fold-out poster, obviously. This was a bit hard to get out. It's totally huge, so I can't really show it. But you can check this junkie.se and you'll see, uh, see it in in its full size and with the entire motive, so to speak. So that's really nice. And here's another booklet. I'm not entirely sure uh, what this is, because it's in Japanese once again. But it has some photos. A lot of stuff. Here's another promotional flyer. Or actually three promotional flyers. So yeah. And last but not least, we got Texas Chainsaw Massacre, uh, a couple of postcards, just to show you. These are really, these are also sturdy, quite nice quality. Oh god, look at that, love that image. And there we go. Uh, that is all that you find in this box set. 
uh, and I think that it is you know the best edition out there but yeah that's it for me today hope you all enjoyed this and I will see you all next time